a tight fit in some of these spots. That's me digging in to one of California's best kept secrets. Yeah, it's pretty tight squeeze on the backpack here. That's the hole in the ground I just came out of. This is California's least visited national park. Yeah, it gets really dark up here. Let's go. Less than 300,000 people visited in 2022. This is so cool. <laughs> Pinnacles National Park. Come check out Pinnacles. Compare that to Yosemite or Joshua Tree with over 3 million annual visitors. Back in December, I drove two hours and 100 miles south of San Francisco, driving through sprawling vineyards. There's a coyote right there. To get to a place that honestly blew away my expectations. Just walking my coyote. Pinnacles National Park has two entrances, one from the east and one from the west. Different from most national parks, the two sides of this park are not connected by road, despite being only a few miles apart. What separates them are the pinnacles, which is what this whole video is all about. I'm in Pinnacles National Park, just south of San Francisco. This is one of the newest national parks, only was turned into a national park from a national monument in 2013. Leaving the Pinnacles campground, I headed towards Bear Gulch, where I found this little guy. This is an acorn woodpecker. From the trailhead, I headed off into Bear Gulch towards Bear Gulch Cave. This is beautiful. Look at these rock formations. I specifically chose not to research too much about this park. I wanted to be surprised as I went. Wow. Look at that. Very cool. After meandering through the gulch, I finally made it to the first sign of the caves. This is the lower caves segment on Bear Gulch. These are pretty cool. All right, it's about three o'clock, meaning we have two hours of light left. So I'm gonna work my way back to the trailhead to go to the optimal condor viewing trail. I will say these trails are full of birds. There are so many birds all around my feet. We also have these woodpeckers that are not scared of people at all. I think I'm gonna swap lenses, go telephoto, and spend the last couple hours of light trying to find condors. The California condor is one of the rarest birds in the world, with fewer than 400 in existence in the wild. Just a crow. Finding them can be extremely difficult. I think if I can get up on that ridge in the sunlight, I'll have a better view on both sides of this ridge line to hopefully see a condor. I'm searching for condors at sunset in hopes of watching them glide thermals up these jagged peaks. The California condor is not the only large bird in this park. 
similar looking turkey vultures called the same place home. Yo, so switch back from the telephoto, I'm trying to shoot condors. Those might've been turkey vultures. I don't know, either way, just seeing giant birds flying overhead like that is pretty interesting. Figured I'd give you a peek at Pinnacles. It's really not a very large park. Just when I thought we were finished. I might switch lenses back for this last little bit. Cause I did just see another turkey vulture or condor, I don't know. Come over the rocks and then disappear again. Could be turkey vultures, could be condors. I'm pretty sure those are them. Look how big they are. Back on the ground, I'm still in amazement at the amount of wildlife in this park. After a good night's sleep at the campground, on day two I head towards Old Pinnacles Trailhead. A questionable weather forecast has me rethinking things. Time to go hiking. So on my second day in Pinnacles National Park, I am dealing with the weather. It's overcast, it's supposed to storm, but it's so dry out here that I don't know how much rain that actually will entail. Taking the old Pinnacles Trail and going to go to the other cave system, which is the Balconies Cave, which is actually closer to the other side of the park. There's two entrances, they're not connected. Uh, it's about a two hour drive around the park to get to the other side, or you can hike through the middle of the park this and it's only a few miles apart. Let's go see the balconies. The beginning of this trail is relatively flat, but there are some surprises in store. We're close now. These are the balconies. There should be a trail that goes along the base, but then there's also the balconies caves somewhere along this creek bed. And it's the cave I'm after. At this point, it's becoming clear to me how diverse this park is, is what makes it so special. Whether you're searching for condors or searching for caves, there's something around every corner. It's pretty special being able to walk through these narrow passageways underneath all of this rock. Wow, check this out. Wow, all of a sudden it got a lot more stark. It's a massive boulder field is what it is. So when they say caves, I still am unsure because I haven't seen any pictures. If they mean a true cave, like solidly underground, or if they just mean things like this, where it's just boulder field and you can walk beneath precariously balanced rocks. The promised rain is finally starting. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. We found it. Oh, whoa. That's the cave. Oh my God. Literally a metal gate. 
I was not expecting this. It looks like I'm walking into a prison. Okay. Into the underground we go. Look at this. It's amazing. Welcome to the Balconies Cave. really really cool you can hear water flowing and these boulders are just they're just wedged in there a little bit of mist coming down from the weather today further into the cave and it actually goes almost pitch dark just around this bend brought my headlamp and we're gonna go check that out let's go yeah it gets really dark up here in retrospect really dark is quite the understatement A lot bigger and a lot deeper than I thought. Let's keep going. I was thinking that the trail ended right here, but I can actually see arrows telling you to keep going. At this point is where the real adventure begins. tell you to go through this little passageway. Typically, entering a cave system alone and unguided is not recommended. For that, I'm sticking to the arrows. This is crazy. See, these are the arrows that I'm talking about. I've got these little arrows on the rock. It'll tell you which way to go. There's another one over there. Bit of a tight fit in some of these spots. Whoa. Wow. This is the way. Without a doubt, this is the coolest cave trail I've ever seen in a national park. There's no one else out here. Not that it compares with the likes of Carlsbad, Wind Cave, or Mammoth, but for the free roaming aspect. It really gives you that wild cave feeling. Pinnacles National Park. Come check out Pinnacles. You can crawl around in caves like this. A welcome sight, the light at the end of the tunnel signals the way to go. Well, we're out of the cave for now. That was cool. I don't really know where it goes though. Worst case comes to worst, I just go back the way I came. So that's the hole in the ground I just came out of. Just like that, looks like you're going back into the caves.
here we go. Back underground. Guess it's this way. suspended be a bad time for an earthquake wow all right how cool is this whoa it gets pretty tight in here And it's like at an angle, I'm leaning like 30 degrees to my right. Yeah, it's pretty tight squeeze on the backpack here. Wow. Who would have thought? I had no idea this was here. one of the cooler trails I've done in a national park. I'm now out of the caves. I can see the forest again. Exiting the caves, I find it's still raining and I need to find wow. the above ground trail to my van. I really lucked out with this rainstorm that it's raining, but it's just a light mist. Which for now is okay, but I might just consider it lucky and make my way back to the car once I find a trail that doesn't involve going back to the caves. Uh, there's supposed to be another trail that goes along the cliffs, so we're gonna do that. Should take about an hour once I find that trail. There's some gorgeous formations. Feed into this beautiful forest. In a span of 24 hours, my perception of pinnacles has changed. Yesterday when I was first coming to the park, it's kind of iffy by my first impressions, other than seeing a lot of wildlife, but it seemed like the trails were so-so, but I didn't make it to the caves. And now that I've been in the caves, that alone makes this park very special. The caves combined with opportunities to see condors and other wildlife, and this park really is something special. I guess I don't need this anymore. Now this balcony section of Pinnacles National Park is definitely the most beautiful area I've seen. The caves, this is what they want you to see if you're coming to Pinnacles National Park. The section I was in yesterday, still beautiful in its own right, but that was the best area to see condors, which maybe I did. I don't really know how to tell the difference between a condor and a turkey vulture, but I'm just gonna tell myself that those were condors. Now the rain's starting to pick up a little bit, but I am glad I'm not underground. I was getting a little nervous being underground where water could accumulate or flow. My camera is about to die, so. And with the rain, I'm probably not gonna stop too much. It's about three miles. That's actually a little bit further than I thought, as opposed to going back through the caves. I'm not going back through the caves. Not in the rain. So yeah. See ya. I'm gonna head back to the car and head towards the coast. Big Sur, that's next. Catch you later, bye.